Oh, it's been a while since I've done one of these, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, I haven't done a ton of uh, modern movie reviews recently, like I've expressed before, with uh, getting shingles and the fatigue really uh, kicking my ass. But with that said, uh, the past two weeks have been doing a lot better. Uh, like, it isn't gone gone, but like maybe twice it kind of interfered with what was going on and uh it, it, for me that's a pretty big thing and they said in january you know that's when uh you know sort of reassess again like at the end of the month see if uh you know if it's gonna go beyond the normal amount of time and stuff so that that's very uh i'm hoping to return to these extra videos uh more frequently like not just an nc uh every week an nc a modern review another you know like just do some other videos so hopefully that should be popping up more fingers crossed i hope that uh goes well i do have some time off coming up as well in fact technically if started my time off already i'm still streaming and i'm you know just going and catching up on movies that i haven't had a chance to see which one of them was godzilla minus one i figure well since i just saw it might as well just get my thoughts on it uh to just a fast little vlog uh review here and uh let me tell you everyone i mean everyone's been saying you gotta see this movie it's amazing it's uh one of the best if not the best godzilla movie ever made, even if you're not a big fan of Godzilla, which I like Godzilla, but I'm not an expert on it or anything, uh, you gotta go see it. Absolutely amazing. And of course, I'm like, they're all right. It's really, really phenomenal. <laughs> I was about to say, eh, it's okay, but I couldn't even, I couldn't even make that joke. This movie is so good. Uh, it is... We live in surreal times when a Godzilla movie makes me cry. Uh, and, you know, without going into spoilers, the, uh, the last scene of this movie, uh, literally the last line, like, made me cry. Like, I, I'm one of those guys, like, I like to say I don't brag about this, but I'm like, yeah, I guess I kind of do. I don't know, it's kind of stupid. But, um, you know, it's the literally the testosterone in me or whatever that's just like, well, I don't cry that much in movies and stuff, which is true, but it makes me all the more appreciative when I do come across something that does make me really teary-eyed, and, uh, the last line in this movie just pieces me. <laughs> I just went to pieces. And like I said, it is the last line, so when the you know, movie ends. I'm like, what? I gotta go out there looking like this, god damn <laughs> Like, I'm trying to try my eyes out and stuff like that. But that's how effective this movie is. Oh, uh, again, I don't want to give away too much about the plot because, um, I almost kind of want people like me to go in, uh, not with, I don't want to say with no expectations, but not exactly knowing what to expect. Uh, because I knew when it took place. I think people can tell from the advertisements and everything, uh, when it took place. You know, it's just at the tail end of World War II. And uh, beyond that, I, I don't want to go into too much more detail. Because, again, I do like the idea that you can go into this j just really unassuming about what it's going to do. And uh, it, it, this isn't a movie that has, like, a ton of surprises or anything. But I really liked going in, not knowing who the main character was or what the struggles were going to be or anything like that. But, uh, the, you know, the time period is important. That is, you know, around the end of World War II. And what I love about this movie is that it's a film where I feel like there's so many movies trying to do what this film accomplished so brilliantly, or have tried to do in the past. Other Godzilla movies, uh, the one that came out with Bryan Cranston years ago, I feel like it was trying to do something similar to this, and what it does that a film like that did not do is that it makes you just connect and sympathize with these characters right away. Like, before Godzilla even shows up in the movie, I was immediately like, what's the story of this pilot? Because the acting in this is really good. Like, as soon as this pilot gets out of this plane, I'm like, I want to know his story. I was kind of hoping this is the main character, you know, and it is. Uh, and again, I won't go into detail, but... Yeah, just with almost everyone that pops up, the way it's written, and yes, the way it's directed, but especially the way it's uh, performed, uh, everyone is just so interesting. And another thing I, th I feel like I really have to get across with this is that you see it's at the tail end of World War II, and it, obviously it's just, it, you know, it's very dramatic, uh, this version of Godzilla. They don't rely too much on the camp. Uh, there's a little bit there, but they don't rely much on it. Uh, is that they really try and make it so that, um, you know, I was just saying that, uh, you know, I'm not getting much brain fog anymore of this, and now it's starting to hit me a little bit, so, okay, it'll come back, it'll come back. Um, 
now I remember. Maybe I tried to return this too fast. Anyway, uh, is that they tried to do this drama without it. it. It is heavy, but it is not overly depressing. That was actually my fear going in, because I did know when it took place, everyone said it was very dramatic. Just from the trailers, it looked very, very dramatic. Uh, so there was a part of me that was saying, well, I don't know if I want to see, like, a downer either. I mean, yes, Godzilla, it's a monster destroying things by me, and we gotta know the lives of every single person he eats or steps on and stuff like that, and it, it's not that. If anything, the film is actually very inspiring by the end. Uh, it's one of those films where some, sometimes I was legit thinking to myself, well, well what is gonna happen? happen here uh you know in the movie and everything in terms of like uh, someone sending me messages on skype sorry <laughs> this whole review is going wrong but uh yeah is that uh well, I, I can't act like there's a ton of surprises in it. I didn't always know exactly what direction it was going to go, or more importantly, when it was going to go. Even, like, the passage of time in this uh, is kind of played around with a little bit. Like, it'll just skip a couple years, you know, at a time sometimes. And I was surprised by that, but again, kind of delighted. I don't, you know, see that a ton in Godzilla films. And it, by doing that, you really get the idea of, like, the lives that these people are living and you get to know them and they're very likable and you really feel this camaraderie of all these people coming together you know to take on this threat to take on Godzilla but at the same time Godzilla yes is threatening but he's still cool he's still a very cool monster in this uh the scene I'm sure you've seen all the trailers and everything where the blue tail starts to stick up and, and light up and everything like that is very very cool the effects on him are, are hit and miss. And I know that's part of the charm of Godzilla, is that, you know, in no Godzilla film, he's supposed to look 100% realistic, right? I mean, sometimes he's intentionally supposed to look really, really fake. With this one, they really want you to feel like this threat, you know, is real. And about half the time, it does look very, very good, very, very convincing. Uh, the other half, it doesn't look awful, but it doesn't look convincing but again with Godzilla there's so much personality coming out of him and I feel like with this particular uh interpretation there's a little bit more the animal in there he definitely walks you know he doesn't walk like in the 98 version where he's like they're just doing a t-rex thing or something like that I mean he walks you know standing up you know and everything like that uh, very upright and everything but he still kind of has a little bit of the mindset of an animal. You can see sometimes just kind of the look on the face. It's a perfect mix of like, you know, you can kind of tell when he's mad. He has these very expressive eyes, but also when he's just kind of observing something like an animal would. There's one scene, I think, near the end where he's just kind of walking through the town. And he doesn't have much of a reaction. At first I thought that was maybe a fault of the movie, but then I'm like, no, that feels very much like an animal. How an animal would just sort of look around, you know, and animals don't, do super expressive faces like we do, you know, but we kind of get what they're getting across, you know, and just the subtle little expressions. I was kind of getting that from him in the uh, the last chunk there, in the last third. And like I said before with the, uh, the last third here, I could predict what was gonna happen at a certain point. When they say the plan of how they're gonna try and take him down, um... You know, I, I did put together what was going to happen, but it didn't matter because I just wanted... A, I wanted to see this plan happen. It's a very inventive, fun plan. And I'm thinking to myself, boy, are they... Are, are, are we going to see all this? Are we going to see them, like, actually kind of play all this stuff out? You know, and we do. But also the... Um, Again, I don't want to say little surprises because they're not that surprising, but the little kind of twists and turns that they have in there are very easy to predict, but you kind of want to see them play out because you do like these people so much. And again, I really want to emphasize that it is not a depressing film. It's not a downer film. There are dramatic moments. There are downer moments. Certainly, there's a lot of drama in this, but... It's very much to get to those inspiring moments, those really, you know, strong emotional moments that, you know, are uplifting and do kind of, you know, it's kind of about regaining hope again and stuff like that after, you know, so many things have gone wrong and after choices we made and stuff like that, you know, in our lives and everything. So, like, yeah, I, I was very, very impressed with this movie, with the performances, with the writing. Uh, you know, I, I, for, I don't think I brought this up in this review, but... Uh, Another movie it kind of reminded me of that was trying to do something similar, uh, 
Hear me out, Odd. In Dark Knight Rises, I do have a connection. I feel like they really wanted to make the movie also about, like, Gotham City, like the people in Gotham City. I just, I don't know, me personally, I know a lot of people like that movie. I didn't feel anything for the people in Gotham City, because story, 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 and fourth dialogue, fourth dialogue, fourth dialogue, plot, plot, plot. This really just lets the people kind of be people, and it also feels like the story's moving forward as well. I mean, this is a movie where Godzilla appears, you know, near the opening, and then doesn't show up for, I don't even know how long it was, because this, it doesn't feel like a particularly long movie, but I mean, I don't know, I feel like it's gotta be at least, like, 45 minutes to an hour, it, there's no Godzilla being seen, like, sometimes they'll hint that they heard something or somebody will have a dream about him or something like that, but, like, he doesn't show up in the movie again, and I, I was really okay with it. I really liked following these people and these characters and trying to figure out what they were going to do and the connections they make and some people trying to rebuild their lives again and everything, and I, I don't know. I really, really connected with everyone. There was no character that I thought was filler in it. There was nobody that was like, oh, that... He's forced comic relief or, you know, he's a force, you know, sad character or something like that. Everything felt so natural and so real. And that's so strange to say for a Godzilla film, but I love that I can say that. I love that somebody can see this idea that many would see as a goofy idea. And not that this is, this is the first time it's been treated seriously. Of course it's been treated seriously other times. But it, this is the first time where I really, really, really gave a shit. And that's not to say other Godzilla movies are bad or anything like that. I'm not saying that at all. Uh, you know, they, they can have a good character and everything. But it, this one, I just really felt like... I wanted to know what was gonna what was gonna happen to everybody who was introduced. I wanted to know what was gonna happen to this town. I really got a sense of community from this town and these people. And that doesn't mean they're always chipper and happy all the time, but that doesn't mean they're always depressed and sad all the time, too. I mean, it's a good balance. This is just a well-balanced movie, and I greatly enjoyed it. Uh, everybody's right when they say this is, like, one of the best films of the year. I mean, it came back in 2023, uh, but they're kind of right. I, I love seeing an idea like this just really done to perfection. There's like I said, honestly, not much I can even think of to point out as a negative. Um, at first, again, without going into spoilers, at first, I did not like something they did at the very end. There's a reveal they did at the very end where I was like, I don't know if, if, if I like that. Or, but then when I thought about not only the, the theme of the movie and the point of the movie and everything, but also, again, the final line they have in the movie. I'm like, nope, you won me over. God, what was that? Five seconds you won me over? Amazing. Phenomenal. I had problems with this, but then, boom, just complete me, uh, completely won me over. So, I really greatly enjoy this film. Um, I feel like it's all the things I kind of want a Godzilla movie to be and things I didn't even know I wanted a Godzilla movie to be and I love when a film can do that. It can introduce me to something I didn't know I wanted in this type of film and in many respects should, should have always been there and it is. I shouldn't say that. I do care about like people in other Godzilla films and stuff just not to this extent and, and not just so perfectly done. Like I said, I am struggling to find anything that did not work in this movie. Just everything clicks so well. Uh, so, and, and like I said, with that, all that in mind, it does have a little bit of the campiness uh, to, you know, the plot to take down Godzilla is, is pretty crazy <laughs> and out there, but it also makes just enough logical sense, but also is so goofy, and I, I love that. Uh, and again, the effects kind of go back and forth between looking really, really good and really, really, really campy. Uh, but that's also part of the charm of Godzilla, so I really, really enjoy this film. Uh, with that said, what'd you all think? Did you... I get the feeling most people are gonna like this film, or are liking this film, I should say. Again, I'm getting to it pretty late, but... Uh, do you think this is like everything a Godzilla should be right now? This is the right time for a movie like this to come out. We have Godzilla vs. Kong 2 coming out. Do you think it's going to be hard to watch there? Do you think there's just enough separation between them and they're so different enough that it should be fine? I, I think it'd be fine, but, you know, we'll see. Um, do you think this is the best Godzilla movie? Do you think it's one of the best? Or maybe you don't like it. Maybe you thought I took it too seriously and uh, you wanted more of him just destroying the city and stuff like that. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I absolutely loved it, but I would love to know what you think of it. Uh, thank you all so much, and I will see you next time. Take care.